This is a KGUN 9 Now News Update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. Three teens are facing murder, assault, and drive-by charges in the killing of U of A student Forrest Keys. It happened, of course, in the early morning hours of February 21st. Police reports detail the three suspects driving around in a red Cadillac, calling out to and arguing with others on campus. Reports reveal the suspects ran into Forrest Keys and a group of friends. They started arguing. Eventually, one of the suspects pulled out a gun and shot Keys two or three times. He collapsed and died near the Cherry Street parking garage. Police found three of the five people they suspect were in the Cadillac. They're still looking for the two others. A moratorium that protects renters from getting kicked out for non-payment during the pandemic is set to expire in two weeks. Now, Pima County Board of Supervisors is setting aside $10 million to help those renters. First, $2 million to pay for attorneys to help tenants fight their case in court. The other $8 million goes to a rent relief fund that helps people pay rent and utility bills they've fallen behind on because of the pandemic. A man who once held the top office in Nogales is now vying for the state's top office. Former Mayor Marco Lopez says he's running for governor next year. Lopez served as the mayor of Nogales back in 2001 when he was just 22 years old, then served as the director of the Arizona Department of Commerce and chief of staff for U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Lopez's website says he's now a small business owner. Ten other candidates have also filed statements of interest. Current Arizona Governor Doug Zussi sworn in in 2015. He's no longer eligible to run for another term. To weather, warmer weather quickly returning to southern Arizona as high pressure builds back over the region. By Thursday, highs will climb into the lower 80s with overnight lows in the 40s. The 80s will last through Saturday before another storm system arrives Sunday into Monday. The next storm will, will cool our temperatures back into the lower 70s with a slight chance of showers on Monday.